Welcome back to Girl Chat Sports. Right, this is episode 124. Yes. Here's the deal. I'm Melissa Mel. This is my girl Mo. Yes, Monisha. hi everyone. So over last week, I was like, hey, there's a couple people I wanted to have on as a guest. There's some people we want to talk to. And here's Mo. He goes, it really hasn't been you and me for a while. It hasn't. And I, I was really... like, you know what? Okay. Woman's History Month. Let it just be us. Yeah. Right? Like, you're leaving me again. And then it's like, I'll be talking to another stranger again. Everybody's <laughs> strange. I'm just saying. So let's us chop it up. Let's Let us get out. to see what's going yes. on. Yes. I know. Just the two of us. I know. You and me. Just us two. Just the two of us. us yeah. I can't even think, but... Welcome, you guys. Yes. We are happy to be here. It's going to be a full hour of us, so please, if you're tuning in, make sure you jot the number down and call us and chat with us, 702-608-3259. Yes, you got Guess it. Guess who memorized Yay. Yes. Yay. Yes. What's up? Call, uh, chat with us. Let's talk. We're going to talk about smart madness brackets. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about... Um, Mo's lipstick is popping for one in particular major league baseball player. Okay. Okay. We'll talk a little about Ichiro. Okay. Oh, yeah. Boy Ichiro. Ichiro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about a little bit about the Aces, of course, our Vegas sports, the Aviators we've got to start talking about right. because their season starts soon, too. That field is starting to look nice. Mm -hmm. It is. Yes. So, what do you want to start with today? I don't know. Yeah. We could talk. There's so talk much. About, it is well, so much. Here's the deal. Let's go backwards. Okay. We always end with your basketball. Let's start with your basketball. Because I right. want to hear what you got to say about Doc Rivers not being able to be a Lakers coach. And I'm fine with that. Let him stay over there with the Clippers. That's fine. Well, if many, many of you that know, I mean, so there was a guy, uh, Peter, I think it was Peter Vesey, had yeah. broke some story that, oh, well, they're going to, Lakers are hounding Doc Rivers. He's going to switch over to the Lakers, not the Clippers no more. Here's what's going to happen. And kind of broke this story that no. people were like, oh, really? Doc quashed that And next that thing you know, immediately. shoot, it wasn't Doc, it was owner. Yeah, the he owner was, was like, like listen, a, Palmer was you're like, not moving. He's not going anywhere. How much do you want? We will I sign your it. check now. Exactly, because I have Here it is. all the money for I got you. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's not happening. But what's and happening I told you with on the your... phone. Oh. And I told you on the phone, yeah. I would prefer to be Popovich anyway. And Pop ain't going nowhere, so, you know. Yeah. They need that kind of discipline. They do. They need somebody that's really going to get in their face. And I, honestly... But Pop's not going to go. No, he's definitely not He definitely go. don't want to be in LA. He don't want about. that kind of attention. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want that not kind of... Look what they did to LeBron or whoever else. I mean, the attention they get just from being in LA specifically is ridiculous. Pop don't want that. He's like, nah. Mm -mm. I think he thinks LA is very hippie-like and too West Coast for him. He likes the structure of the San Antonio kind of organization and all that good stuff. Uh-huh. But uh, I'm tired. To, I mean, it's not that I'm not tired of talking about the Lakers. I just don't want to talk about the Lakers <laughs> because our season's over. Like, what is there to talk about? LeBron well, sitting on the end of a bench. Not okay, let's talk about let's talk about what's happening with LeBron's demeanor in these last like few weeks. Well, I mean, because that's I think where where I have an issue with. I don't have. I mean, the thing of it is, is any face of the Laker franchise has brought us a chip. We have sixteen banners because we've had stars come through and deliver a chip. Right. So it is up to LeBron to be that same Laker. Now that you put when you put on purple and gold, that means something. That means you're bringing us a chip. When is that going to happen? That's the question. Will it happen while he's there? That's another good question. It better happen. Kobe's already maybe spoken to Maybe little Bronny will be on the team by then. Right. <laughs> well, he's got three years with us. We're going on two years now since the season's over. But uh, Kobe spoke out on it and, and even set the tone for him of the responsibility that that face of the franchise, like a Lakers organization, means. Right. And I think when Mamba speaks, everybody listens. Whether you like him or not, you've got to respect 
the and, legacy that he's left behind. And there was a recent thing that he did that he basically threw those th- the three young guys under the bus. Like, well, are they better than AD? No. no, they're not. He was like, ciao. Adios, peace. They're not. But see, Sayonara. when Kobe was playing on that team before retirement, those kids were calling him sir. They never referred to him as Kobe. They were calling him yes, sir, no, sir. What do they refer to LeBron as? Are they just saying Bron? King. King? I don't even know if they're even calling him that. Like, are the young players Daddy. even respecting him? Because that's even another thing of discussion. <laughs> if the young players are really even ex- respecting him. And, and to me, him sitting on the end of the bench at that Knicks game wasn't him to me disrespecting the players but more so the coaching staff and the franchise if they're huddling you need to bring your butt in the huddle too right you are you not need to above do all of that you need to do all of that we remind you mind you we're still paying you <laughs> even though you got your still check, paying you. we're still paying you that's so yeah he's gotta <laughs> he's gotta gotta step up a little bit and uh i would look at our schedule and i know our season's coming to an end because looking at the schedule, we may win one or two games in between that schedule. We're not, I mean, we don't have anything too major. I mean, we're playing some Wizards. We're playing uh, Pelicans. I think the la- at the end of the month is the last game against the Pelicans. They got a game this Saturday, too. But, uh, yeah, Lakers are dysfunctional. I'm done watching the Lakers. I'm on baseball right now. I want to talk about Mike Trout or whoever else we need to talk about. Sooner really? Sooner later. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Is that what you want? You don't even talk? Okay, what about? Okay, let's talk about uh, James Hardy. Oh, we can talk okay. about James Hardy. Okay, 30 about James. for 30, 30 points yes. consecutively every single game, at least 30 how points. How many scoring. games has it been now? It's been all of them. So how many games? All of them? Has? Yes, all of them consecutive, consecutively 30 points each game. Wow. That's unbelievable. But I still want to know, can he close when we get into the postseason? That's what's that's where it all seen. Seen. yes. That's Are we where gonna I need see, to see them in the Western Conference Finals. That's there what I want to know. I have a sneaking suspicion they might show up. Oh really? I hope so. That would be a nice little run you to see them so? against Golden State because I still think Golden State's going. Oh my goodness. I still think Golden State's going. KD is not coming to the Lakers if that's what you were about to mention. No, he's not. Or where is he gonna go? Where do you think? Or is he gonna stay? Do you think he'll stay? Uh, I don't know. I kind of see him traveling east. But not to the Knicks. No. Brooklyn? Someone said Brooklyn. I know. I heard the Brooklyn rumors. That he wants, now, his, he wants his own team Well, Brooklyn now. would be probably be a good start depending on who, who's their coach right now. I'm not sure who the coach is. I don't know. Yeah. Because last time I watched the Brooklyn game, Jason Kidd was the coach. So that just tells you how long ago that was. What about D'Angelo Russell, though? Oh, see him? he got off. But that was, what is this, four years later? A former Laker, by the way, a rookie that we got rid of. That should have been in my spiel last yeah, week. should have been. We got rid of deloading. Yeah, that was not so much the Jordan Clarkson thing because I had to talk no. with Quan after that, and he gave me a, a snap of clarity on that. He was right. <laughs> so snap uh, big of ups to Quan and Name Sports Show, <laughs> all those guys. Uh, but yeah, I could see D Loading doing major things now if he was with the Lakers. If he if they had kept him and he stayed, but really didn't happen. So what are you gonna do? Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. So there's a little game called baseball. Yes. And here's what's funny. I saw there was, this, you know, bar stools. Mm-hmm. Like one, bar stools. Yeah. Yep, so they yep. had a post today that was like, hey, next time you have an opening day, why don't you let the people know? And I'm thinking, maybe you should listen to Girl Chat Sports last week because we talked about when the we opening sure day was going to be and where it was going to be and who was going to be in it. We Clearly, did. some people aren't Mariners fans or Eric Oakland Athletics <laughs> fans. So it ain't my fault if you didn't know. But right. Uh, the official opening day was this today, yep. technically, in Japan mm-hmm. with the Mariners and Oakland Athletics. And who did we have throwing out the first? I don't know who threw it. So here's the The game was like at 2 o'clock in the morning. But we had two legends for both opposing teams. Right. Ken Griffey up. and Ricky, Ricky Anderson. Anderson. Yes. yes. I just don't know if they both threw out today or if they're going to do one today one tomorrow. They probably do one today and one yeah. tomorrow. What's funny is there's a guy I used to work with at the county. Mm-hmm. He actually moved to Hong Kong, and he was at the game. I had noticed, like, he was having all these uh, posts. Um, he had all these posts about, like, he was traveling. I was like, I guess he was traveling through China. Yeah, I was right. like, oh, that's kind of cool. He's doing, like, a little touristing right now. The next wow. thing you know, a live of him in the stadium. And I was like, oh, I so wanted to that be there. That is so Shout out to dope. Kevin, Lou. Shout Yo. out to Kevin, man. That was amazing. I would love to be there. Ichiro, didn't he play for Yankees once upon a time, too? No. Never? I don't think so, no. Oh, okay. I so sure. at 45, Ichiro throws a long toss from like right field to third base and the crowd went wild oh wow yes that's what's up yeah it was good and so he got a standing mariners, ovation that's dope well so the funny thing is that most of the mariners fans that i know on facebook are like hey guess what 
The Mariners are leading the MLB. We got the winning record because <laughs> no one else has played yet. <laughs> right. I'm about to say, what my Dodgers go do? Yeah, We're going back so to the World Series. It's this funny year. if you go on like ESPN and you go to Mariners, it says Mariners. Mm-hmm. It says like, you know, AL West division, like right. AL West winners or leaders. And it's like 1 0. Like, <laughs> let me screenshot this Love and it. like watch over it because right. it probably won't happen much longer. No, you never know. You never know. Stranger things. I mean, we've been doing good. Um,. <sighs> We've been doing, I thought we were doing good in preseason yeah. or in spring training. Right. Um, but of course, spring training is like preseason football. It doesn't really matter. No, no one knows about yeah. it. It's it's like a bunch of fluff. So we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that we get back to some kind of, like, you know, circa 96 years, um, some mojo. We'll get our mojo back. Mariners That'd be cool. Mojo back. That would be cool. But there was another little Seattle story real quick. Um, okay. A couple of friends and I, some Facebook people had shared with me already is that they've already started the demolition of Key Arena, which is where the WNBA, where the team plays, mm-hmm. a storm play, as well as where the new hockey team will play. Oh, okay. So because Key Arena's roof is technically like a national, um, what do they call it? When it's like you can't touch it, it's like a... National treasure? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So they or built a national it, monument or something. They built it during the World's Fair. Monument. They built yeah. it in the World's Fair okay. in Seattle. So they can't really touch it, but they're basically digging out the entire, everything underneath it. They're like, it's oh, going to okay. have the best food, the best, re- you know, things here and there, the best things to do. And so I'm like, hmm. everybody's psyched. It's supposed to open, I think, spring of like 21. So, but of course, everybody's psyched over that because they think, well, now that that's coming, soon we'll be a basketball team. Oh, yeah, of course. So we'll see how that Shout out to Seattle. Seattle's doing Yo, things. Yo, it was 78 you... degrees. My mom was calling. Hi, mom. Um, <laughs> it, she was breaking my ear because it was like 78 degrees in March, mind you, in Seattle. Granted, they had just had like about two feet of snow. No, that's why I was la- telling like somebody. Two, I was like, didn't ago. you guys just have snow a few weeks ago? So that people were, I had a girlfriend that was laying on, there's no beach in Seattle. Granted, right. it's like Alki is like rocky-ish. Laying on, the, laying on little baby rocks <laughs> with her toes out because it was sunny and 78, which is like, hot it is and i like kirkland shout out to clerk kirkland i was there fourth of july we get kirkland oh yeah go, honey they would play a little beach volleyball it's like it's all a little community oh. and they just have some well because everybody comes out there yeah, yeah. it's cute it's nice little very cute it's a nice little hangout it's a nice little hangout mm-hmm. nice hang yeah out. <clears throat> speaking of washington i know you went to the pac-12 if you want to get into that we can talk about that now we can talk about it now so i mean no of course, you all know I'm a Husky fan. Right. And my Huskies, were, we had the Pac-12 tournament here. Right. We went as for the women's one, mm-hmm. but the men's one was last weekend. Yeah. And so um, Thursday, played initially Thursday. It was during the day I couldn't go. Friday I went, Friday night. It was a great game. Um, the refs kind of sucked, but they were they were sucky on both sides. Okay? okay. So they were consistently bad on both sides. So, so it wasn't that bad. Call, bad calls no, no. in favor It was team. like bad calls on both sides. Okay. It was bad. But we won. Okay. okay, so we moved on and we have went to the finals against Oregon, who I had just seen Oregon in Washington play, <laughs> and they lost at home during senior night. It was just a week, like right. less than a week, a week away, a week ago, and so Saturday night comes and we're playing the the final. Um, the refs still sucked, but they were very one sided. And I'm not going to blame the refs. Okay. Because our team was... But here's the deal. Oregon needed that game. If they wouldn't have won that game, they wouldn't have made it into the tournament. Right. You know, they had to win it. Yeah. We were going to go no matter what. Yeah. But it was still sad. I was up close. And yeah, you had great seats. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So they... It was just... It was. Ang- it made me angry because they weren't posting up. Mm-hmm. Dickerson was fouling, but he wasn't actually working the offensive side. Mm-hmm. And we weren't driving. Nobody was driving. They were just taking shots like threes, like they were Steph Curry. No, 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 no. We got here because you guys are driving to the ball. You're doing Dwayne. post moves. Yeah. And they weren't doing none of that. So they play Utah State in the NCAA on right. Friday. I think the game's like at 3.30 our time. Um, I'm not sold on the game. I'm not either. It depends on which Husky team comes. If it's the Husky team that did like the first, like, you know, 10 games this season, I think I'll roll with them. That are upsetting folks. Right. But if it's the one that's come the last, like, four to five weeks of the season, I don't think we'll do it. Well, I, you know, like I said, we were talking about our brackets before we went live. And I, t- and I told you, I said, Mel, I'm sorry, but I don't see them. She was like, I'm on. sorry. I just don't see them going <laughs> any further past I'm Utah. like, dang. <laughs> I know. I was trying to be there, but I have to be really, really smart about these picks. And we'll yeah, talk about it. But, yeah, it. I have to. Yeah. It's cool, though. I mean, it is what it is. But yeah. the thing is that even if we don't win, so if, let's say we do win, we mm-hmm. have to go up against Carolina. Right. Like, 
Yeah, it's not That's happening. not happening. No. So, so which blow would you like? The one against Utah or the one against the upset of Carolina? I mean, I would still like to make it past the first round, you know? Yeah. That would be nice. I mean, I couldn't get a Pac-12 championship t-shirt this year. Maybe I could at least have some kind of, like, understanding of make it to the second round. Yeah. Okay. No? I mean, yeah. I don't know. That do I don't know. I'd rather, ask, just have the, I'd, I'd, I'd rather just have the band-aid swipe real quick <laughs> immediately instead of suffering through long pain. <laughs> like that Mountain West tournament where both Nevada teams lost to San Diego State. What was that all about? San Diego State is like a sleeper balling. city. I don't know. I was balling out of control. I thought for sure. I said, okay, the Rebels lost. They're done. Their season's over. Menzies is gone. But you and R. <laughs> Menzies is a conversation we need to yeah, have. Yeah, what's up with that? Okay, I was gonna. I, I wanted people to call in and ask if it was a fair, fair re- early retirement for Menzies. No, he totally for New Mexico. fair. You think so? Yeah, he listen. But his past record when he was with New Mexico State is stellar. Yeah, but that's not what he's doing now at UNLV. At three he years, had a I better think... record with the first season with UNLV. They won more games that first season than better the last. Better talent. So that means better that your talent. recruitment has sucked. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So do we fault his recruitment? But you don't think he's part of the recruitment process? He is, but I don't know how big of a part of it is he. Well, I guess the question for him, and we're not going to talk to him <laughs> anymore. So. Poor Menzies. I mean, I'm just trying to, I'm just, I'm not trying to play devil's advocate, but I'm just reading and listening, and I'm just kind of thinking like, well, man. But and his recruitment wasn't very strong, even within this. I mean, he was very international. Okay. His mic is. <laughs> and with him going, right? They've already noticed that there was two guys on the transfer list already. Like, oh, that yeah. are ready to go. Yeah, and then there's uh, two more today. That and they missed. haven't, because, you know, they're still looking. They're trying right. to evaluate for a new coach. Right. Hire. But they need to grab somebody that's going to bring people to come watch a game. Exactly. Because there's no reason why I see all these people in Las Vegas sporting UNLV sweatshirts and hoodies and T-shirts. And I'm a rebel and I'm a Vegas born and I'm Vegas this. But not one of you mofos is at a game. So what are you doing? Some of them are at a game. They just leave early no, before not. it's over. Not. No, no, no. We're <laughs> overpaying for Golden Knights. That's what yeah, we're doing. Yeah, exactly. You're on StubHub at like 5.59 right. waiting for that last right. drop in price. <laughs> No, that could be the possibility. When you could be just spending ten dollars and go hit up one of these games sitting there. You can buy a ten dollar ticket. I'll tell you something. Look at, a- but you can buy a ten dollar ticket and walk your butt all the way down to like the third row and sit there. You could, but I'm gonna tell you something about these rebel games too. They're not the most attractive crowd either. I'm just gonna <laughs> keep it one hundred. You, you think like you're in Utah or something? I, yeah. <laughs> it's a jazz game. Is that what you're saying? I didn't say it was that, <laughs> but it ain't really no kind of popping event. For me personally, I think uh, a lot of the alum is very antique I'm not trying to very my, se- my season no. years, but it ain't the crowd I'm trying to be around. So we gotta, we have to get, we have to. But at least they're supporting. Yeah. But I does mean, my young self have to sit in between? Like, I'm not getting noticed. There's so many open seats you can move around. <laughs> but I mean, said- we're not going to UNLV <laughs> games to pick up on men. That's what for sure, because they're not there says, either. Say you. I mean, look, I'm just trying to. I'm if you wear that green off. dress, I bet a lot <laughs> oh, more man. people can will we come talk to about the, the game. Thank you, Kwan. Can we talk about the green dress? All of you guys that are following Melissa right now, oh, if you're not following her on Instagram or Facebook, <laughs> shout out to <laughs> Melissa Ferris. <laughs> And her St. Patrick's Day phenomenal woman. Shout out to Alicia dress. Gibbs and the Phenom events. I, I love them. And the Phenom event, I didn't even get invited to. So I ain't that phenom- I need to get a green dress. Let me get a green dress so I can get. Here's into what's this crazy. Phenom so we'll take this off of event. sports for a second. Okay. So what happened was I had a, a, a wardrobe malfunction. I had a different dress planned for that morning, <laughs> right? But you know, when you're dry, getting, you know, you know, and guys may know yeah. too, but when you're getting dressed at night versus in the morning, you can kind of, and I like to pick my things out in the night. So I could pick it out at night and I'd put it on in the morning. So I got up, got dressed, put my dress on and was like, oh. Oh, so you didn't try the dress on the night before. I did, but it was different lighting. So I realized oh. that during the light light, it was a little bit see-through, which is a little bit inappropriate for a nice right. luncheon yeah, with, exactly. beautiful, with wonderful women, right. and people uh, in the community right, that are doing absolutely. big things. I was like, okay, now what am I going to do? And I'm like, oh, it's St. Patrick. I wore my green dress. I wore the green dress. Shout out to SO to his wedding like two years ago. Okay. And so I was like, oh, I wore that. I know how to, you know, that's cute. Got me some shoes. And little did I know that this green dress was like, the green dress havoc of 2019. It sure is, honey. The green dress is the most talked about thing on social media. Like, if you trend the green dress, <laughs> smells gonna pop up for real. Like that green dress was smoky. Okay. And that's the thing is that here. And shout out to the green dress period because yeah, all it showed was me a little leg. There was no like. Here's the deal. 
when I see some women that are sporting some things, and I'm going to say this now because I, I've seen women in, whether it be sports mm-hmm. or in other venues of media, and they've got all this hanging out mm-hmm. and everything's super tight, and they got to have on like their highest heels in the world trying to... It's not about me. Like I'm not about trying to show all this off just to get the attention. No, but the curves and frame. It worked the, out. It worked out. Shout yeah. out to the workout plan that you have right now. Yo, shout out to True to True Fusion. That's who we need because the True Fusion them hot classes got are you doing for me. And your green dress looking very high. <laughs> and it's a new profile pic. So hey. Oh, we made a profile pic. <laughs> oh, we really got hyped on the green dress. This so if time. you're watching now, we're gonna you check know. check the amount of likes. <laughs> Yeah, for real. Check her DMs too, and we could tap into the yeah, DMs. Yeah, you want to? The... We should start oh, screenshotting. <laughs> start screenshotting the the DMs. Well, I can't get over the green dress. I think 189 this episode, likes. 189 likes on the green dress. Yeah. yeah. Now if wow. you po- now if it was me posting girl chat's video, there's gonna be like 15. So, so that means we got you got to wear the green dress every week <laughs> every episode going forward. And I'm gonna have to stand up and just have like have Quan put one of the cameras over there just so they get the whole angle, right? <laughs> And I could just stand like this. And you showed what a little leg, but a little it leg. was the body. It was, nice it was just your your. The, you've just been working out. You look amazing. I mean, it was I good. It was a good that. angle. Joy, right. my photographer, shout out to Joy. She took the picture. Oh, shout out to the photo cred. You need the photo cred because the photo cred is everything. Yeah. She got them angles right. She had the angle. Well, I had to position her. Oh, Sometimes so you got to position direct, Joy okay, in the right area the to go. Well, shout out yeah. to Joy on the photo cred. Yes. Good job. Shout out to the dress wherever you found the dress. You're not even North Iraq. Hey, shout out to my You know company. I love me some Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom. We all always right, so people looking good with the dresses. I appreciate all the love, Quan, and everyone else in the green dress. Quan, everyone out man. there in the green dress. Quan's a fan. I'm gonna, Quan get, I'm gonna get Quan one of them. He's already probably, here's what he's doing. He took the picture, he <laughs> saved it. He's gonna have it like on a billboard pretty soon. Like, no, I say he's gonna have it framed like one of those souvenir jerseys uh-huh. and put the green dress on the wall. Or like one of those like big heads. Champions. Like the big heads of just the dress <laughs> cut out. <laughs> The fat head that you stick on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I will it back. I can't even. That is hilarious. Yes, shout so. out to the green dress. But anyway, <laughs> Menzies, anybody call in 702-608-3259. Yeah, we want to hear three two five nine. Let us know what you think. Should Menzies should have should he have gotten fired, or should they have given? Who do you him think is coming season? in? Who do you think is gonna be the next replacement? And it, my thing is, he's got to be able to recruit. And caused some recruiting, you know. So do we need Dave Rice and Rick Pitino back? <laughs> or we need somebody like them? Yeah. I think well, who's that? I don't know. I you know me. College hoops is my thing come March Madness. But I couldn't tell you who'd be the great coach right now. I don't either. I like Coach K. He ain't going nowhere. Right. right. Oh, and I also like uh Baylor's coach too. <laughs> Shout out to Andre. He said, Watch well, Quan, he's got a van. <laughs> uh, what's what's in a van down by the river. Oh. <laughs> Hide your candy. Oh, Don't book me with our boy, our producer out there like that. Great, great. It's funny. <laughs> Dying. Oh my gosh. So, uh, um, so anyway, he's gone. We gotta find somebody else for. But him. here's the: we do have a great. They have do. You and we. I'm not UNLV, but UNLV does have a great athletic director. Oh yeah. And that w- is a woman right. who is holding it down for that student, mm-hmm. for the for the students and for the mm-hmm. the staff there. And she has a great track record of finding people who can come in and kind of turn a program around. So okay. that's really what we're trying. Hopefully, she's on board. She's already starting. You know, kind of digging in to see who's out there. So hopefully, that works out really well for her. Okay. <laughs> I can't watch. The- the live chat anymore because Andre is killing me with this What comment. is he saying? He's like, that's a creepy guy. No, it's not. <laughs> While he's over here scruffing down a pizza. And I smell that pizza. It smells yeah. so good. Who wants to bring food to the studio? I saying. know. Well, we should, we're supposed to have boiling crab tonight, but somebody rather go to a concert. Shout out to George. I appreciate my friend George <laughs> in Seattle. Unfortunately, you know, his family's not doing so good right now in the second. Couldn't make it out oh, here. So that's too bad. Yeah, so he's giving the tickets to me and Joy. So me and Joy are going to head out to Earth, Wind, and Fire immediately after this so um you can check us out there but let's talk about the golden knights okay so we had a great game um Mm -hmm. was it yesterday or day before we were playing the sharks day four so we beat them yep it was an amazing game so we've now won nine out of our last ten yeah we've been on fire yo so we're definitely going to the playoffs we didn't clinch in our division but we are definitely playoff and it's mark stone he's hello flurry's hurt so he has made, I think he made that line. He's, I think he individually made one of the highest 
scoring lions in like oh, the NHL. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That was the biggest and the best pickup that the Knights could have done. Nice trade. <laughs> Amazing. Nice trade by the deadline. So, uh, you know, they're they're um they're playing. I mean, Mark Stone is amazing. They're outscoring opponents 41-22. You know that? What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Malcolm uh. Subban, let's give him props too. Yeah, he's, he's been, been holding it down. He's, he's been holding, holding it down. down. Good, good for him. Because there's been some times where I've been a little iffy on him, mm-hmm. but he's been doing good. So tomorrow night's a home game against the Jets. Yes, and it's a big game. <laughs> For all those that hate Vegas and their productions during hockey, you don't want to watch tomorrow then. You don't want to be there because Cirque du Soleil, doing a Miss Stare is going to be there during the first intermission. Oh, they're the first intermission? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, I, and I that's actually the only, only Cirque curious. show that I haven't seen yet. Oh, I've Miss seen Miss Stare. I've seen all that's the rest of them, but I haven't seen Miss Stare. You've seen LaRev and everything uh-huh. too? Yeah. I haven't seen LaRev yet. Good. You saw Michael Jackson? I did. Saw Michael prior, Jackson. prior to the current. However, I have a coworker I see who one. just I went and saw it. And she's like, well, I bought tickets like three months ago, six months ago, and so Those I still went. Those tickets would need to be like $10 she said it was a still, it was still, it was a little emptier than usual. But it was, I mean, I, it was it was a great show. They really do a great job on the show. I Listen, I would go see the show. He didn't I would t- go see the show, too, because I think he the tickets are going to be $10. He didn't touch me. Well, I think the tickets are going to be $10, and I'll go. <laughs> That's when I'll go, because I think they'll be cheap. I cannot. And I'm born and raised here, too. They didn't give us a born and raised special. $10. $10 make you holler. <laughs> <laughs> Seven year old boys get in free. Oh, oh no. Ba-dum, bum, bum. Yeah, Quan's getting banned from the air pretty soon. <laughs> Quan got dominoes over there the best pizza. In the I world cannot. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> can't. I can't. Okay, so the Jets are 43 and 25. You think the Knights will win this tomorrow? The jet, yeah, I think I think they're on a good run. I think they're on a good run. Oh, they're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm positive. I think so. I'm positive. I'm very positive. About and that. I really like that. You know, just I mean, whenever you talk to anybody about any kind of sport, they're always like, "Man, those Golden Knights, you guys got a great crowd." Right. Like that crowd, it's like an experience beyond anything. Like, right. you have to go to one of those games, like something that you don't get anywhere else. I saw highlights of their practice on Instagram at the Fortress today. Uh huh. Oh, they're ready. Oh yeah. They're ready. You know what? I feel like I just need to have a, <clears throat> a sick day just so I can go to the City National one I morning. I know. <laughs> that would be dope if we could cover that one morning. I should have gone today. I was off. Huh? Uh-huh. Nah, I didn't feel like making the trip. No? A trip. Yeah. Um, the lights. So the lights. Let's yes. talk about the lights. You know I love our lights. I love them too. Yeah. So they had a draw on the first game. Yes. And then they went up to, uh, was it Portland? Oklahoma. Oh, Oklahoma City. They played yep. OKC. And lost. And lost. But they had, but they had an amazing game right. though. Right. And that's the whole thing is that they had more shots on goal. Well, they had yep. they won the possession. Yep. But they just couldn't come out they with the win. Couldn't, couldn't come out with the win. Shout, Shout out, out to come. Tommy Olsen. He had four saves that game. Shout too. out to Tommy. Yeah. Yes. Love Shout me out to Tommy. I know. Winalda Wednesday. Winalda Wednesday. Harry, what's up? So Winalda <laughs> is quoted uh-huh. saying that we're very disappointed with the result, gotcha. but not with the effort. This one is on me. She's like, a lot of good signs, a lot of positive to take out. Without being condescending, I don't think Oklahoma played a lot of soccer tonight. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. We got well, beat, but we'll take our hats off to them and we'll see them next time when they I play I love in Vegas. his intensity. I do like his intensity. I love that no matter what, whether they win or lose, he's still like, we got to do better. Oh, we absolutely. Go well, that's a coach. Yeah. That's a real he's coach. He's kind of like a Popovich of soccer, I think. I, I would like, I would kind of agree you with like you that? on that. I do I like that. I think he understands the, the, the guy is better, like his, you know, his squad, and he's got yep. a good reign. They, they respect him. It's yep. mutual respect. But yep. yeah, he's very determined, and he's not going to let them just half. Right. I can't even, what, half butt it? I don't know what you say. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> well, I'm leave- looking to Quan like, I don't want to say A-S-S, but... <laughs> How else can I put this? <laughs> He's just a no-nonsense n- kind of guy who understands right. competition yeah. and understands Definitely. winning and understands what the teamwork means. You know, that teamwork makes a dream work. Right. So they're actually playing Portland yes, this Saturday. This Saturday, they yes, go up to the, the Pacific Northwest to play the, the Timbers. Timbers. Yeah, yep. the Timbers have won their first game. Uh-oh. They're 1-1. One and one. Yeah, and it sucks that we had such a great preseason where we're 0-1. I know. It's like how the Mariners are 1-0. I know. Doing so great, but not really. But locally, <laughs> at Cashman Field this Saturday, it's uh-huh. Boats and Ho- I'm sorry. Ah! Boats and Hoes. Yeah, not that. 
It's the metro- both in oh, houses. The, the guns in houses. Guns in houses. Yes. Oh, the Southern Nevada Metro. Shout Police out to Department. the Las Vegas Fire Department, the Las Vegas Metro Department. Yes. Metropolitan Police, Police Department. Department. Yes. So they go battle it out. Yeah, there. they're gonna battle it this Saturday. The gates and if open you, at three. And if you buy the ticket for this Saturday, you'll get one free for the, for the 30th, which is the exactly, night's night game. Exactly for the night's night game. Which I still think it should be called Hose. Hose. <laughs> Here's the deal. We're in Vegas. It's like March Madness weekend. Like every guy trip in the world gets comes to. I mean, there are so many people that come to Vegas this weekend. Every guy squad, every bromance that you have in the world, they're all flying in either for this weekend or usually it's like Cinco de Mayo for like the fight weekend. And what do you think influxes when there's a bunch of men in the city? Ho. How do you know so much on this topic? <laughs> I'm not saying it's for personal experience. I'm just saying. No, not personal experience. I mean, There's I definitely no have a lot of guy friends. friends. And so, know. well, that and like, you know, when I, I first, don't out nobody when I first clients, moved to okay. Vegas, I, I I did know of some people who okay. were in the market, in of, the industry. Oh, of, in the industry or they were in the market in search no, of No, they clients. were in the industry. Oh, okay. They were in the industry. Okay. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't a client. I mean, I don't think I know. I mean, I'm sure I know people that I were a client, client, but not that they're regularly out there like oh, that. Okay. You know what I mean? But I knew more of the <laughs> other side, that woman that, you know, worked, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. You know, you remember the Hope Bars? Like yeah, some of the, the casinos there, that had the Hope uh, Bars. Yeah, the Pimpin' one, right? The one the Bellagio Crom- had one. The one behind the Cromwell, too, is supposed yeah. to be that infamous one. I mean, I don't say. know the ones now, but there was one back then that where you would know. You could obviously see them lined up on a bar just waiting for Oh, they still got come. a couple. Trust oh, yeah. me. I'm not going to shout out any businesses because they're not giving us no sponsorship. <laughs> so, therefore. So, anyways, back to um, yeah, but anyways, the guns, guns and, and hoses. hoses. Which should be, uh, gates open at three, game yeah. starts at four. Um, yeah, so if you buy your ticket, it's the guaranteed Shout out to, ticket. Hey, Goose, them. are there any hot, single, tall guys out there at the game tomorrow? I'm just curious. On Saturday. Oh, on Saturday. Yeah, just... Are they in uniform when they play? They better be on the fireman side. I don't know. Are they I'm in the uniform? Not that the cops are bad. But what I'm kind of hoses? I, want, I like the firemen. You know I like the firemen. <laughs> I've got a, the NY Bravest out there. Right, right. Shout out to the NY's Bravest. I just, you know, men in uniform too. are great. They period. are. They like them. They just except when they're short. Cause when they're short, I'm just like, what do you? I mean, how do you even like? Ha- when I see like the short guys on <laughs> the bikes, I'm like, how do your feet reach the pedals? <laughs> like, oh, and how? I was gonna tell you this off air, but uh. speaking of that, short, <laughs> and we're so off subject. <laughs> but I have a friend, my cousin. Shout out to my cousin Bria. Uh-huh. She had a great women's night the oh, other night, okay. and where we hosted it was at Lotus, where her friend oh, from nice. DC lives. But okay. he gave her her his spot for us to, you know, have our little. Man bashing night. No, it wasn't a man bashing night. But have our <laughs> nice sister night. Anyway, uh, he knows a rugby player that huh. locally lives here. Oh, really? That we can interview soon. But I love that. He's short. I but here's the short. But most then, rugby guys are not really tall, tall. Yeah. but they've got huge quads right. and, and huge when you show calves. Their pictures, their calves, quads. Ridiculous. And stuff. Yeah, I was like, yes. Tell him about me. Let's have him come on Shout the show. Shout out to Ashton, who joined in. He got a kick out of Boats and Hoes. <laughs> <laughs> so did Steph. What's up, Steph? Hey, Steph. Yeah. I like that movie. <laughs> See, that's why I like having one-on-one with Melissa, because we can go off script sometimes. Because no talk. one's calling in. No one's I'm just calling saying. in. No one wants to join in the chat. Got Kwan, you know? you find out. Kwan's yeah, too yeah. busy eating to even answer the phone if someone were to call in right now. <laughs> that's He'd probably, be like, hello? The phone's probably been ringing. <laughs> And he's like, it's pizza time. It's Sorry. Pe- he know he's been he's been asking for pizza since like eight o'clock this morning. Did you see his post? He's like, I need pizza. And I was like, I'm just on my way to work. How do you want pizza already? So Probably cause he was up all night. <laughs> I can't. So back to the lights. Okay. So they'll play, they come back here on the 30th. Mm -hmm. And I'm covering that game. So I will be there in the building. I hope most of you guys will come out, social, social, ah, can't talk. Socialize. Socialize and show some support. Yes. Will they have the happy hour then? Because remember, we talked yeah, about the that happy hour is going to start. Hour. It's from now on on home games. It'll be directly after the game. So maybe oh, yes. you can go find us a couple nights, lights, jerseys. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Tommy. I'm going to work that. Tommy, Tommy. and your friends. <laughs> Angel Alvarez. Yes. Eric, when all the heck, the shirt off your back, it's fine. It's fine, too. We'll take the it. hat. I'll take your hat. hat. Whatever. I could yeah. use a nice, lights hat. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> we'll but, wear it. We'll wear it. It's not like I'm going to. I mean, the tickets are $15. Right. And if it, <laughs> they have more fans than the UNLV games. So, hey, just maybe this is more exciting to watch. They really. And they really they are. Kind of, and here's and the sad like thing the is soccer 
it's exciting, but it's also not as you're not doing as much movement as a basketball game. It's a smaller court, you know, there's more activity. But the fact that that soccer games are more interesting than these basketball games, that's kind of saying something. It is, and you're using a lot of your vocal cords because you're chanting all those nice chants. Yo, those the light. They have two groups. The lights have down there. Mm -hmm. Like they're, I forgot their names again, but um, I recorded them the first time I was there. They are intense. One has like a big old gong and like a Love bass, it. and they're like, I can't wait to see man, it. Man, the the smoke, the colored smoke goes flying. I cannot wait to see any of that. They're I'm intense. so excited. I'm so excited to be going to this. They're so intense. Yes. Um, so the aces. Yeah. So we've got draft. We didn't even talk. Up. Did we talk about seeing Bill? We saw Coach Lambeer. Yes, we did. At the Pac-12 Women's Oh, I posted it on Instagram if you guys are following Well, here's us. what's funny. So, <clears throat> Coach, I just want to ask a little bit because we yeah. sat down and I was like, hey, are you out here scouting? Like, it's a Pac-12 Women's Conference or Women's... Did he know you were with Girl Chat? Because yeah, I had already... Okay, I had told okay. him. I was like, yeah, I heard you met my co-host or Girl Chat. You know, of course, networking. Why not? That's what we're supposed to be doing. And um, I was like, oh, so you must be out here. You're like, you know, who got your eye on? He was like, oh, nobody in here. And I was like... A, I was first offended because as a Pac-12 alumni, I was like, ah, ha. and but then I was like, well, maybe at a point, I don't know. But you know, there's lies. I know, but this is this. So then, like last, I think it was last weekend, I was reading an article about how you know the Aces are eyeing the girl from Oregon because, mm. and I was like, mm. oh, uh, now ah. it's all making sense. So guess what? Now we have to get him. So coach is a little bit of a yes. A, a, a tattletale. He doesn't want to tell it. So he now we have to get him on the, sh uh, the, show, the show and put him in the hot seat. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. so it sounds like, so there's officially a date now for the WNBA draft. Yes. April 10th. Yes. The day before my brother's birthday. And it's going to be at the Nike headquarters. I oh, just, that's going to be so dope. In New York. Mm -hmm. In New York. So. Oh, in New York. Mm -hmm. oh. I know. But it, they didn't have a date. It's been TBD for I don't know how long. But so we got the first the round. Yep. First, we got the first, first pick. pick eh? The first Perfect. pick. We've had the mm -hmm. first pick for the last. This is our third year. Yeah. So Kelsey Plum, uh -huh. Asia Wilson, and yep. who are we gonna get? Yep. Who do you think? I don't know. I mean, the way they were talking, there, this girl from Oregon is like banging. She's good. But we watched Oregon play, did we not? Or am I tripping? I didn't. I think you watched. I did. You got there yes, before. Yes, I was there first. Yeah. Yes. So they, they were. Good. They got a squad. I'm telling you. Yeah. They, they were nice. Yeah. Mm. Um, so the aviators, I know, let's get into it because we got baseball season started. What is Andre saying or who else is saying anything <laughs> it's else? It's all him. What is he doing? He's just talking about, get off the chat. I can't even talk so to you So he's right just now. like. Ugh. Well, no, he's hashtagging Van, hashtagging creepy. I cannot with him. <laughs> hashtagging yikes. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's just throwing me off. That's what I, I love about. him, though. So, That's yeah, the boy. aviators. Yes. So, as you know, our 51s transformed mm -hmm. into the aviators. Right. And they move. And they move. So, they have a beautiful new stadium. If no one's gone out there, right next to City National is where the new stadium is called the Las Vegas Ballpark. How original, right? Right. <laughs> um, but they have all the signage up now. And today, they have laid down the grass. Ooh. Yeah. It's coming together. Opening day is April 9th is the season yes. opener. So season home opener April 9th. Is, that's gonna be. Big. It's already sold. Out. It's sold out within 30 minutes of like of the sale. Of course, because everybody. But there's loves plenty baseball. of tickets still being sold. They're yes. pretty inexpensive as yes. well. Um, and there's free parking. Did you hear that? Free parking. Because nobody else in Vegas has it. Free parking. Cashman Field's free parking now. No, it's not. For the uh. No, it's five dollars. What? For the soccer games. The one year. And we're not even gonna talk about T-Mobile. And their parking fees. I have to pay fifteen dollars for the Pac-12 each day for Pac-12. Oh my gosh! Even with media, when we had it for women's, remember when yeah. we were leaving, they were trying yeah. to say, "Well, you gotta." No, we're not. We kind of whistle away through that. We one. sure did. <laughs> she had the green dress on, y'all. <laughs> she showed that girl the green dress. She's like, "Oh, you don't have to pay anymore. You're good." <laughs> you know, it's funny as I rolled up the cost. <laughs> Just to go back to the green dress for one second. <laughs> I was on the I was talking to my camera. I, I was on the phone and I was talking to my friend and I was like, "Hold on, watch how this works." I pulled up to Costco, like, but I, you know, I use change your purses. You forget. I didn't have my Costco card, and I, I needed gas like that minute. Like right. literally, I had it said two miles, okay. and I was on MLK, and I was like, "Let me pull over and get gas at Costco." And I was like, "Excuse me, sir. Like, I forgot my card in my other purse, and I." Throw out a leg. <laughs> he goes, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Here, he puts his card in. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. Power of the green Thanks dress, y'all. 
Thank Power you. Power of the green dress. <laughs> Man. I got to give me one of them. Man, you need a green dress. I do need a green dress. Um, I don't own a green dress, believe it or I not. I didn't realize how much it was about the green. I guess, and maybe it wasn't just, people were like, well, it wasn't just the dress, but I think green is your color. And I was no, like. No, it looked really good. Like, I mean, you look If great. you're just joining us today, we're only talking about green dresses. Yeah, so call in and see what's your favorite green dress. 702 608 And talk about how maybe you've been in my inbox. How yes. about that? Yeah, and you had the yeah. green nails popping too. Yeah, well, it was, you know, same. I didn't want to get pinched. You know, it was also she You know, a coworker pinched me. You weren't wearing green. I was wearing green. Where? I had a bracelet. Underwear that was, doesn't count. Nope, I had a bracelet with rhinestones and it had green in them, uh, but my whoop, jacket whoop, sleeve whoop, was covering whoop, it. Whoop. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so do we? Do I need to put my lipstick on? Are we about to talk about my? Let's do it because why? Before you do that, to finish up the aviators. Oh yeah, go for they it. actually have a partnership with Red Rock as their oh. official hotel for the visiting team. Oh nice, which is amazing because Red Rock is. Where I want to know where were they staying when they were at Cash? <laughs> were they at like the Golden Nugget? Because <laughs> no, Golden Nugget's decent though. I was gonna say maybe. Uh, yeah. No, Golden Nugget. El nice. Cortez. El Cortez. Yeah. El Cortez <laughs> would have been a better. Because now on that. they're at Red Rock, which is way nice. Amazing. Way nice. I yeah. love Red Rock. Yeah. Shout out to Red, Red Rock. Rock. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to my okay. guy, Bob Let's Lynch. go ahead. Get them puppies ready. We're about to talk about 400. <laughs> and how much? 430. Oh, is it 30? Million. Let me put some more. I'm about to add glitter, too. Yeah, get your glitter, Mike too. Mike Trout, are you out there? <clears throat> Let me just tell you. $220,000 per game. Per game. So he's making more than all of us <laughs> in one game. <laughs> Mike Trout, if you are out there, my name is Mo. Oh, we popping? Yeah. And I'm popping like glitter. Go get it. Go get it, girl. The get, them, coolers get them lips working. Are ready. Get on that mic. To discuss How high Mike is that Trout. mic? Let's Man, this mic <laughs> is about to be jealous, right? <laughs> Guys going to be jealous of this mic. This mic is right up in my grill. Like, for mm -hmm. real, for real. You like but it I like not. it, though. Yeah, talk about your boy. Okay, so, you know, Mike Trout signed with Angels back in 2009. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, did you really get the lipstick yeah. all at you? There you go. Okay. Let me get it right you tight for Mike Trout. Hey, as okay. a woman, you can't let another woman yes, that's girl have code. lipstick you cannot on do that teeth, ever. Okay, okay, you cannot do that. Go so, ahead. his contract is literally a $14 million bump up from what he had in the past. He started in 2009 when the Angels signed him. He didn't get active until, like, 2011. Mm -hmm. But like you broke down, that is twenty two thousand or two hundred twenty two thousand per regular season. That's sixty six thousand nine hundred and seventy eight per times at bat that he gets paid. Repeat that for the audience one more time. Sixty six thousand nine hundred and seventy eight dollars at bat. How much is that per inning? <laughs> Let's break that down. Twenty four thousand six hundred ninety one dollars per inning. Even well, if they go past. The regular allotment in right, regular, uh huh. And then, you know how much he makes per pitch? What? One thousand six hundred forty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm about to throw my phone. How much does he make per gum chew? <laughs> or sunflower seeds? Or sunflower seeds? Yeah, or sunflower seeds. That'd be a good one. Or each. Well, they said it was like ninety-eight thousand dollars per day, even because obviously this season isn't the whole year. But for mm -hmm. a calendar year, he was going to get ninety-eight thousand dollars a day. A day. A day. I'm going to tell you something. And I have a question, and people can call in and ask this or not. Um, and, and more about Mike Trout, why he's getting this money. He's a seven-time All-Star, okay? He's also a two-time AL MVP. Okay. He also was AL Rookie of the Year back in 2012. Okay. He also was a six-time Silver Slugger Award recipient. What's a Silver Slugger? I don't know, but it sounds dope. <laughs> okay. He also won the American League Tank Aaron Award. Okay. Year, and then That's... he also was the American League RBI leader. Okay. I mean, the guy is AL stolen base leader back in 2012. Uh, he's part of the 30-30 club. Not Jay-Z's 30-30, but baseball 30-30. Because that was the 40-40, Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That was 40-40. I, I was I went, there in the open, and LeBron the was when, a rookie then. He was the, there. When it was on the strip at the Palazzo? Yes, I was there for the Before opening it thing. Yes, it was the 40-40 club. I, shout State. out to BS, <laughs> but a scotch, my boy Brandon. He I took remember, me, remember BS. Where we is were, he? Me, him, and Andre were all there together. Oh, Andre was there Andre, I ran into Andre. Andre was there. Shout out to... Dre, I didn't get a phone call about that 40-40 But this is, like, this is when LeBron had just gotten like signed, and he was there, too. It was like the opening day, opening night. 
Forty Forty Club used to hit. Did it? Yeah. Never been. Well, I went. It was my homeboy's birthday party, but he was doing a fortieth birthday party there. But it didn't. It didn't work out or whatever because they well, were being shady. Very long. They were doing shady with deposits and all oh, that kind of stuff. Okay. Anyway. And the office is so. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> For anyway, Mike Trout, four hundred thirty-five million. How my much of it do you want? What, How much you ask him? Is he single? I need to know. I'm not sure. Like, what's okay? So his payday. Yeah. And this is like pretty much like a swing kind of contest because the guys that had thought they had the long stroke, like Bryce and Manny Machado, they failed now. Right. So who's next in the domino effect of it? Because I'm gonna tell you something. I read hmm. Mookie Betts. So he he goes up for free agency at the end of 2020. Really? And he's all time. But here's my thing. So is Boston gonna throw that kind of check at him? But even if they do, here's my thing: you're getting, you're, you're, you're signing these contracts for these guys. Granted, baseball is not like the biggest like injury prone sport. Right. However, you're throwing guaranteed money. They got to pay for like forever. Guaranteed money for 13 years, years, 14 years, 12 years. Like these guys have already been in the league for six or seven. You know, not Bryce Harper, but I mean, like you've been in the league for this. I mean, I know most players can play up to 40, but God. Me as Bryce, I'm thinking, who's going to – I'm getting tired of Philly. Like, here's the deal. Trout got a great deal. He's in L.A. for 13 years. For, you know, he's going to be living L.A. Trout. life. Yep. He already been doing L.A. That's lovely. Who wants to get stuck in Philly for 13 years? With that snow and the cold and all that. And you know with, with the, this global warming thing, it's only going to get worse. They're going to have, like, six feet of snow one year. Yeah, but for $330 million, I can I can adjust. I feel like I can adjust. I feel like I can build a nice cabin in the I mean, woods I, with I'm heated floors and everything else that goes I'm not with saying it. I wouldn't. I would deny it. Yeah. But what do you think when Bryce Harper heard that Mike Trout got 430? Did he call well, his agent? Said, and was it like, was a, a swing kind of contest. Like who had the biggest? Right. And who's gonna get the biggest? Because like I said, who's gonna get the biggest? <laughs> so okay. And then also I have another question. Uh-huh. Anybody can call in yeah. on this. Did anybody Kyle, can call in on Yeah, this. anybody. Like Everybody's in the chat room. They're all yeah, talking Yeah, they don't want to call because they, they know. Okay, so <laughs> then here's my other question. Okay. Did, did Kyler Murray make a mistake not choosing baseball? But here, he, he's not a mistake because he can still go back. Yeah, he can. So it's like he's in a win-win position. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But all it takes is one guy to knock him down. And it's and like it it's could old. be any of these men. Right. They knock. But that's the thing is that in this so one the ratio thing, of having a fastball hit at you. Right. Unfortunately, Bryce Harper had that happen to him on the right. little ankle, poor thing. But and back. Kyle Murray is not big, and he's not no, going to when he's going to get hurt. You know, he can get hurt. Yes. So small. But the thing is that he, and this is a good point that Joy Taylor brought up. So I was listening to the herd. Oh. I won't even mention the person that was on it because I can't stand him because he subbed in for Colin. I love Colin. Yeah. But I this like guy Colin that too. was there Tyler today. Colin used to be in Vegas. I made a post about it on Facebook, and if you want to know who it was, you can listen. It wasn't Whitlock, that. was it? No, oh, okay. it was somebody else That's who I cannot stand. But anyway, so Joy okay. was on, and she was like, you know, but guess what? Kyler's been this size all of college, too. It wasn't like he just all of a sudden shrunk. He's been this size, so why are we making it a huge deal now? Because I feel like the NFL players are bigger. Oh, we do have a caller. Yes. Where's the screen, Quan? Yeah, what's hey. up? The screen was coming. The pizza blocked it. <laughs> hey, Girl Chat Sports, you're talking to Mo and Mel. Turn it down. What's up? This is Nate from Seattle. Ah, oh, Nate. Hi, Nate. <laughs> hey, I ain't calling to talk about no sports. I'm calling to say hell yes to the green dress. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. The green dress is winning <laughs> the topic for the tonight. Green. You saw the green dress, Nate? <laughs> oh, did I see it? Oh, Lord. I, I would have oh. pinched it just for the hell of it. Oh, my gosh. So you recommend all women to go out and get that green dress? <laughs> First of all, let me even backtrack. Oh, I recommend. What what did you what did, what did you like about the green dress? <laughs> what didn't I like about the green dress? Oh, That's the thing. Man. <laughs> Welcome to Girl Chat Green Dress. <laughs> Nate, I appreciate you calling about Thank the green dress. You should you should like you should like raffle it off, Mel, or something. Ooh, man, I can make some money that way. Yeah, we can get our sponsorship. Pop yeah, popping. Pop I feel like she should wear the green dress for the oh, next hell. episodes. What do you think? <laughs> I'm down for that. All right, I'll be watching. Thank oop, you, Nate. Oop. Enjoy okay, the Nate. nice weather. All right, y'all have a <laughs> good one. You. Keep Bye. doing a good job. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's so sweet. Shout out to Nate. That's my my boy for years. When I tell you I was like 18, 19, and somebody stoop, I was there probably with Nate. <laughs> 
and a bunch of my girlfriends. <laughs> How old was Nate then? Nate's probably 40. Maybe he's like just a few years than me. Oh, okay. He's not like mid 40s, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. So he was a grown man with the kids? <laughs> we, were saying, we were 18. We were over 18. We were over 18. Nate said yes to the dress, though. Everybody's saying yes to the a- dress. Apparently. A&E should do yes to the green dress if they're <laughs> out there. Is it A&E that does that? What channel is that? TLC. Yes to the green dress. Yeah. So, <laughs> where were Love we? Love it. We were talking about <laughs> baseball. <laughs> we're not getting nowhere today. It's all about We did. Dress. We had a very productive day. That's going to be the cover photo for the, today's episode. Just so I think knows. you should wear the green dress for the cover for the episode on the podcast. I'll just post it. Oh, you. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Got you. Okay. And just insert a picture of my face. Like, do two <clears throat> pictures of you side by side uh-huh. with the green dress on, and then put my face over one of the green dresses. <laughs> I can See how many likes I get on that one. I cannot. So... Um, before we, I mean, we're, we got still some time. We'll talk we about do. we'll talk about our bracket in a second. But before okay. we get rushed, I wanted to bring up the the girl power moment. Oh yes, because there's talk a breaking it. news that yes, happened there today. Is. Yes. And as women, as women who love football, as women who like, I never knew when I was younger that I had the opportunity to one day become a coach. Maybe I would have played Madden more. Right. I never played Madden. Maybe I would have played it more if I knew I could have a chance to try and coach somebody. I someday. beat a kid up the street when they had the insert coins, mm-hmm. the little adult arcade. He wasn't a kid. He was a man, but he was a big football guy. I beat him in Madden, just sitting up there drinking and Dang. playing so a little see, game. I mean, you know your X's and O's. I do know my X's So, and O's. shout out to the Bucks. Yes. And Tampa Brian Bay Aarons, Buccaneers, man. Because he, they literally have hired two women full-time on, assistant coaches. Man. <sighs> and one of them is from the Seattle area. Is she? So, Fair it's um, Lori Locust and I don't even know how to say her name. Maral Jabba Jadafar. And she was doing avant <laughs> physical therapy in Seattle. So oh, they got her from your home I love that. town. Maybe we could link up and try right. and find her. She has an Instagram. I love it. Keep and then out. Locust actually was still coaching with the Alliance, the AAF, um, yeah. for the Birmingham Iron. So she got a, a little upgraded job. Just and like some of those guys like, are getting upgraded this off season, they might get upgraded to get into the NFL. Right. She got upgraded and now she's coaching in the nice. NFL. Nice. I think she worked with the Ravens once upon a time mm-hmm. one year too. Yeah, Baltimore when she yep. was on the training team. Yep, on the training team. Yeah. She's dope. Shout out to the girl power on that. I like that's that. That's amazing. That is. And they're full time assistant coaches. I love let's, it. Let's keep that a hundred. No phone call. <laughs> We don't have any other I was like, what are you doing? I, I thought he was about to motion. He's having a seizure from pizza or something. No, I thought he was about to <laughs> say something about another phone call. I was waiting for somebody else to call about that dress, man. That dress was... We're going to stop the dress. Okay. I don't blush easy, but boy, let me tell you. I'm telling you, Mel, whatever <clears throat> hard work pays off, you ladies and gents in the gym, the gym I got, and I Listen, everybody out there, I've got guest passes. So if anyone wants to come sweat their ass, ooh, oh. sweat it off with me. Let me know. Because I got past. Well, you did not do that in the green dress because you clearly still have. <laughs> I'm not sweating it. I'm trying peach. to build it. I'm trying yeah, to build it. I'm trying to build it. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> unsports related. <laughs> so, let's get into these brackets. We got yes. like, a few minutes left. We'll so, for everybody who's watching, obviously it's March Madness. Bracket time is here. I do mine on my phone. Um, well, already, I do, but I wanted yeah. to have one printed out. Like, I want, I like to, I, I'm a visual person. Mm-hmm. So, sometimes on your phone, you can't see the whole thing. You can only see like sections. You know what I mean? You That's can't all I see. need because I have to break down and dissect But I don't want to see. I want to be able to go, hmm. Who do you see as but the I'm top still, two? But I'm still going to do my number of the phone. Oh, okay. And I'm doing them tonight. So, shout out to my boy Matt and also to Tyler because I'm going to be getting on both their um, brackets. I just haven't. I got a busy night tonight. Is it for many on your on theirs? Yeah. So, I get one. Um, it's a, a UW alumni. Um, okay. Matt. Shout out to Matt. He, so, I've got – you get two brackets for 10 bucks. Oh, okay. And then the other one with Tyler, it's a um, – I think it's twenty dollars for a bracket. Oh, okay. But yeah. So. So our bracketology. Let's break this down. Okay. I foresee Duke going all the way. For sure. Uh, I, I mean, think so. We Unless, just know that's for, a- as long as there's no injuries, because they really have like four people on the team. Let's be honest. Right. It's not and, like they have a bench. And you know, even even though everyone's talking about Zion Williamson, R.J. Bell- Barrett is a killer too. Like. Oh, of course. That's what I'm saying. They've and, got yeah, like a good got, three, four, three people, four people, but they people, don't yeah. have no bench. So if something right. were to happen, one of those key players. And I, I strongly doubt that'll happen. So, <laughs> I so, can't. Andre said auction the dress off on the show. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to bid on the dress? Someone's going to bid on it. Um, oh, we'd make some money, girl. Anyways, back to the bracket. All right. So, you got, okay. So <clears throat> I got Duke and UNC. I mean, here's the deal. Beyond my Huskies. You my got Duke and up- UNC all the yeah. way to go to all the way to the Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
I didn't even what get What do that. you got? I didn't get that far. Oh. Who because it won't you? let you. It won't let you go as far as that. Until, it'll let you have, well, so here's still. We already determined. know that the, the Washington, Utah State, North Carolina. So even but if... I, even if Washington wins, they're going to lose North Carolina. Then that would oh, bring. Oh, absolutely. But I bet I definitely. Then that have... would bring the Auburn, New Mexico, Kansas, North and Northern Eastern. Right. I don't see none of those being an upset. So right. it's going to be Auburn, I would think. Right. Or New Mexico. Right. Well, I don't think Kansas is going to do it. Anyway, so. I mean, I got Gonzaga going all the way to the Elite Eight. Do you? I do. But I, what Gonzaga team is going to show up? That's what I, I don't know. You know what? Because if I pick Marquette to go Sweet 16, they play Gonzaga before the Elite Eight, and I feel like Marquette might still be able to pull that off. But I just think in Gonzaga, it might be their year. Like they, I'm telling you, sometimes don't sleep on them. They show up. I'm, I'm not sleep. I love Gonzaga. Yeah, That's Washington State right, exactly. right there. However, they'll either do great or they'll do like one, one, one and done. It's like there's no in between. I don't know. I'm feeling something in my chest. They get right there here. all the time. They do get there all the time. But they don't always make it. But they never finish. It. But yeah. I feel like this might be their year. That so you think finish. it's going to be Duke? Well, it can't be Duke. Well, it can't be Duke, Duke at that. But I just think to the Elite Eight, I know Gonzaga is probably going to take out Marquette. Even though Marquette do you, have you nice. So far, because I know you did do the first round, right? Yeah, did I did first, do the first round. So go where is your, where's your upset going to What's the upset going to be? Do you have an upset? Let me go back. Hold on. I've got. Texas Tech going. Okay. Got Michigan going. Oklahoma over Virginia. That might be my upset in okay. that first round. Okay. And Kansas State over Wisconsin, even though that might be tight. Mm-hmm. And I got Purdue over Villanova, too. Really? Yeah. So I've been hearing a lot about this Belmont. You know, Belmont won oh, last yeah, night. Oh, yeah, Belmont. Yeah. And um, I've heard a lot that they actually got a good squad. I mean, I watched a little bit of that game. Yeah, uh, but they play Maryland. I don't know. Maryland's one of those teams that I, I don't, don't have know. faith in. Mar- I don't know. I don't know. I didn't advance Maryland, so I I would roll with Belmont on that. That's crazy. Insane. But I did pick you and R to go on. I picked them to go further, but I how think far did stop. you how far did you pick them to go? Because I the second round. Okay. That's the yeah, second round. I don't think they're gonna go. I don't think they're gonna go no. much farther. They play Florida in the first round. Yeah, and I think that's an easy win. But then I got. It depends on what Nevada team shows up. Like they played like crap the last two. Weeks. If I pick Michigan, they play Michigan next in the second round. Uh huh. And they ain't gonna beat Michigan. Now Michigan's dropped the ball a couple times too. Before. Yeah, but I don't, I, don't, I don't think they. No. I don't think they gonna beat. Right. I don't know. I hate to give up on my state up north, but I mean my city up north, but I don't. I just don't see it. I don't think. I mean, I, I'm hard because think about to see it. Even with the, the even with the Mountain West tournament, you lose to San Diego State like that. Martin Twins, they showed up that game, but it wasn't Martin Twins that called, that won the game for them. It was their off the bench rookie that won the game. Right. So, I don't come know. on, son. I, can't. I don't I can't. know. But we'll talk more <sighs> next week. Yes. Mel's not going to be here with me. I'll you guys, I'm out of town. Again. But I'm going to join in. I'm going to try and find me a Wi-Fi connection on the beach. <laughs> and try and log on, you know, and say She's hi. She's going to wear a green dress on the beach <laughs> streaming. I'll find me a green bikini. How about that? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Woo! Don't blow Quan's mind over here. Quan's about to explode. <laughs> His hat's about to blow off over here. <laughs> hey, y'all. Um, real quick, shout out to, obviously, our producer, Quan, yes. to Grill Across, a named sports show, to our yes. guys, let the ball bounce, to yes. Andre, who is really holding down the chat yes. today. Shout out to Donnell. I missed your birthday turn up this weekend, but I still I wish you too. a very we bright, owe him. happy birthday. He's actually going to be out at Method Man, I think. Oh, well, night. then you give him shout a Shout out to everybody that's going to be at Red Man, Method Man tonight, because yes. that's going to be amazing. Oh, shout out to the Chops MC. That's his Instagram. Oh. His name is Keith. He is now the official head coach for Bonanza High School's nice. football team, and we will try to get you on the show, bruh. For yes. sure, I gotta reach out Amazing. so we can talk high school football when that comes up. Yeah, shout out to um, also uh, off the strip guys, off of the course. strip podcast. Count yes, Fudge. Count shout Fudge. out to yes. Vegas Sports Daily, Daily. Mike Dixon, Mike Dixon and we team. Love you. Yep, yep, we All love you guys. guys. Yep. Um, I guess that's it. That's one and it. done. One twenty four. Green, and... green dress. One and done. That's what I'm talking about. March Green Madness. <laughs> <laughs> and you heard it here first. Yes. Mo, where is everyone going to find you? They're going to find me on Instagram at my name spelled backwards. That's at A-I-C-E-N-O-M. That's A-I-C-E-N-O-M. You can also find me on that same handle on Twitter. And then Monisha K. Threets on Facebook. 
Nothing in Mel worthy fighting you besides that green dress. If you hashtag green dress, Mel will pop up. That is an easy find. But anyway, if they can't find that, where can they find At you? At Seattle, the number four underscore life. Seattle four underscore life. And you'll see the green dress pop up if it's on I Facebook. I love it because that is your profile. <laughs> yes. And, you know, it was just so good to have just me just and my girl on one-on-one -on -one time talking. Yes. I appreciate you. Shout out to everybody that's joining in the chat. We appreciate you. And because obviously all our phones shy except for my boy Nate, so that's cool. But yeah, shout out to Nate. I think next you time we would love to hear from you. Yes. All right, that's all. We're Peace out. Peace out, you guys. March Madness. Hey. Hey. <laughs>